Olunako olwencha, banansi begwangali Amerika lwa gendo kukiro bu boxi mbutongole, balundaba kule mbeze babi kumitendele jencha ulu. Nenge nkalwe singa kupa kuchifocho bu kule mbeze wegwanga, ili mbira nye singa kupa wakati wa muna Democratic Party Kamala Harris, kusane muna Republican Party Donald J. Trump. Mukafuba kitu bademu ne Ellen Masa umogezi wa HTV cha Amerika mu Uganda kukaruluka unachiche kate gezeri ya mawanga ga Afrika. Wakatinga buli omwali nabi asubi na mubesi mbiye uo, masi ya gamba kabe Trump oba kamala. Siye ye salida ucha ya gala, ilabio nebi kolebo wa Amerika bi ita mmitende reji wiraku. Uh, the United States has a system where we have three branches of government, right? You have an executive branch, you also have a legislative branch, and we have a judicial branch. And you also have the voices of citizens, many of whom have also contributed out of their own pocket, some of them $5, $10, but you know, so much of, of the um, financial, uh, um, the, what goes into the financing campaigns is also these small dollar donors. So American voices will be heard. And uh, there will be checks and balances. Kubukule mbeze wa Amerika obuja. Masa gamba muanga ga Afrika galime kusubida chinene nyo kufa mu Amerika. Kubana Amerika enjine inebi zibu vya yu. Wabula wakusigalanga bayamba kwa muanga ga wadu gavue cheta agisa. Our leaders are obviously uh, focused on the United States, U.S. interests as every country is uh, when they're, when they're uh, engaging abroad. We are all facing... Uh, some many similar global challenges things like climate change things like disease outbreaks that we know defy any borders that we might uh, see on a, on a map and so i think you will continue to see our leaders working with yours and working with civil society and working with people to find solutions i don't think that will change let's talk about uh, abortion and, and the methods of abortion africans have been so focused on this because one candidate supports it and another candidate is against it. Donald J. Trump and his party, they are totally against the abortion. They say unless, unless otherwise, but nobody, uh, every pregnancy deserves a life. And, and Kamala is saying that no, uh, the carrier of the pregnancy has a right to choose, a right to choice, to choose either to stay with the baby or not. What is your comment on this? Because this is directly on Africans. We have very many challenges of abortion. We have very many challenges of rapes and kidnap. Who is better? I mean, what policy is better for Africans and Ugandans at large? I think what's really important in Africa is for people to have this discussion. That the, the citizens of every country should be having these robust conversations because it's complicated. There really isn't a black and white answer for so many of these complicated, challenging questions that we are all facing. I think that's what the beauty of a democracy is, that you can raise facts, uh, you can raise anecdotes, you know, people can talk about their lived experiences, and you can have robust deba debates. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is a healthy democracy when there are these discussions about the, the real challenges that people are facing in the world mm -hmm. and coming to uh, you know, some kind of uh, agreement and consensus and things will change as we gain new science, as people start to address, as civil society engages in some of these conversations and brings out the voices of those who are often less able to be heard. I mean, that really is part of a democracy as well. Of course, we can't um, end this conversation without talking about LGBTQ. Um, it has been an issue for the past years, most especially this year in Africa. And, and LGBTQ, according to many African experts, see this as a tool that the West has been using to punish African countries and African leaders actually that have gone against it. Uh, many of them have been have, have been receiving sanctions, uh, visa restrictions, to mention but a few. You know, Africans are saying that there are very many human rights that need to be protected, but LGBTQ doesn't fit in the shape, morals and the ways of lives of Africans. What is your comment on this? I think that if you were to look at the announcements, the visa um, restrictions, and the designations over the past year, you would see that those are focused on larger human rights violations and corruption. And yes, that does include uh, violations against the human rights of people uh, in the LGBTQ community. So I think you will find that our focus con will continue to be on human rights and anti-corruption. I don't think that is going to change because a government, a democracy, can only thrive and survive 
when it gives the same rights and, and uh, focus on human rights to all its people. That's what leads to a healthy and, prosper and, and prosperous uh, society. Uh, and that will, I think, continue to be part of our focus going forward. Ni wanku ba doku londo kolu kale mugwangi ili Amerika kwa luna kulu ancha. Na yewe butu kidolu aliru. Nga bantu abasomu kadensa mfubaku badaka lulu kabwe. Chokange mbira nye singa kuwa wakati wa Trump ni Kamala Harris. Hasif Sechuunga, BBS Terefaina, Agesigri. Hmm.